Joshua Bloom joins us now from Hull. Uh, what did you mean by the term bongo bongo land, Mr Bloom? I mean uh, undemocratic dictatorships across the world who accept aid with absolutely no question of an audit trail. They're the people I'm getting at. And the point I was making is very important. One billion pounds a month going away in overseas aid without an audit trail. With 40% of that goes to the EU, uh, who have to signed off their accounts now for 18 years. Uh, it's, an inter it's a national disgrace when we're cutting back uh, our hospitals, our police, and I've got in a very poor constituency here, I've got people waiting for t cancer treatment, dialysis machines, and we're giving this money away. It's absolutely disgraceful. Mr. Bloom, there is an important debate to be had about international aid. There are many who will agree with your views. There are others who will disagree. But that isn't the point uh, of this today, is it? It is your use of the term bongo bongo land, which is a derogatory expression. It is racist language. Uh, that may be in the opinion of Guardian newspaper, uh, but it is not in the, the Guardian opinion newspaper. Of I think the majority of, of people would say that that is racist language. No, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. They might in your Westminster bubble, your little world of, of Westminster, but out here in Hull and Yorkshire, where we tell it like it is, that's not, they don't feel it's racist at all. And I haven't had a single Land does not exist, Mr. Bloom, people. does it? It is a derogatory term. No, so how could you possibly be getting your safe... How can you get yourself into such a state about a something which doesn't even exist? There is no such country. So how can anybody be offended? So, so why did you use the term then? If there's no such country, what were you trying to achieve? It is a derogatory term that implies drum-banging natives, doesn't it? Well, I was trying to portray uh, the view that we do not have a proper audit trail of where our money goes. And the only people that seem to be upset about the use of this expression are the media people, not ordinary people out here. But Your certainly, own party is upset uh, about the use of the expression, I, I, Mr Bloom, isn't it? Because you have been asked not to use it again. My, my boss, Nigel Farage, has asked me not to use it again, and I've promised him that I won't. Uh, and if, if, if it upsets uh, my boss, obviously I don't want to do it, and I, I don't intend to use the f f term again. But what is good, what is good now, I've turned, a I've turned it, this into a national debate on where £1 billion worth of our money goes every month. And if I've achieved that, I think I've done my country some good. I don't think that is what we're debating. I think we're debating the use of the term here. Your party called for the suspension of an Italian MEP after he used the same term, bongo bongo, uh, in a tirade against Italy's first back minister. Uh, you called for his suspension. On those that grounds, do you personal... think you should be suspended? No, you're quite wrong. Quite wrong. No, you're wrong, madam. You're wrong. That was a piece of personal abuse aimed at an individual. This wasn't. This was a 40-minute speech, uh, which uh, had no, the there was no bongo, personal bongo was used. at all in this. Uh, why don't you get back to the real argument of where our one billion a month goes? Why is it that you are incapable of debating what everybody wants debated? Where does our money go? F-16s for Pakistan. We've just seen Argentina buy 40 mir Mirage aircraft from Spain. That's another recipient of EU aid, our money. Why don't we all discuss what people are really wanting to discuss instead of getting hyped up on this silly nonsense? Let's talk yeah. about the real debate, please. I'm, I'm, my apologies, but actually you are the one who used the term bongo bongo and that is why this story is in the headlines today. No, it isn't. The reason it's in the headlines is people are fed up with their money going and they don't know where it's going. One billion pounds a month. That's what my... Uh, all morning I've been getting support, thousands of texts and emails about that, not about the use of the term at all. So you're quite wrong. I, I don't believe that this would have been in the headlines if you had just had a debate about, it, uh, about the use of international aid. It is the use of the term bongo bongo. Do you regret using that term? No, because we've actually started the national debate. We've started, if you're right, if you're right, we wouldn't be having a national debate, would we, on overseas aid, and now we're having it. It would be disingenuous of me to regret having said it, having got this debate going. So, so I have was it promised deliberate? It's all about publicity then, Godfrey Bloom. I won't use it again. Was it deliberate? Was it all no, about publicity and winning votes? 
No, it was five, five... Do you know this speech is five weeks old in open arena, in open forum? Five weeks ago in Birmingham this speech was made. All of a sudden, The Guardian have got themselves all got their knickers in a twist about it. But I'd like to say again, let's talk about the real issues. And you should be talking about that. Sky, you have a responsibility, Sky Television, to talk about the real issues, not this sort of tabloid nonsense. Do you, uh, do you regret using that term and do you apologise to those you have offended by using that term, Mr Bloom? If you check your tape, you'll see you've already asked me that question. And the answer asking, is do you no, apologise to those you've caused offence? I won't use it again. OK, Godfrey no, Bloom, thank you very no, much. because to whom have I called this defence? OK, Godfrey Bloom, thank you. Uh, as most of you know, my work is very heavily independently research-based. Uh, and I get my information from all over the world. It would help if you press the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, because the more subscribers I have, uh, the more likely it is that international uh, independent research institutes will share their material with me. It's most helpful, and then, of course, I'll automatically share it with you. Uh, so, surprise, won't cost you anything. Uh, thank you very much.